Okay, here's a cool package I got in the mail today. Surprisingly, I ordered this two days ago. Since I moved to this neighborhood, uh, the mail, uh, when I order stuff on Amazon, you know, about packages, they ship fast, and thank God for that. I wonder what this is. I know what this I know what this is, but uh, I just want to give give you guys a little guess or surprise you guys, you know. Here we go. What movie this could be? It's the fourth film collection. Repossessed. My best friend is a vampire. Slaughter High and Silent Night, Deadly Night. Better watch out. Repossessed, where they make fun of the exorcist with the late Leslie Nelson as that preacher. I saw that one time, Repossessed, and I, I'm looking forward to watching it again. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I haven't really seen the Silent Night, Deadly Night movies. Not even the original one. I need to check that out. Slaughter High. I already have that on DVD. That's a cool movie. And one of my personal favorites, My Best Friend is a Vampire. One of my favorite 80s comedies. I used to rent that all the time and watch it when it was on HBO. Boy, those were the days. I'm glad I have it on DVD finally. Yeah, the four film collection. Repossessed, ready for a devil of a good time. Linda Blair, the star of The Exorcist. Oh, Linda Blair reprises her role, kind of. Cool. I don't know if she's Reagan, but I only saw this one time. I really haven't seen this a lot, so... Like Linda Blair, the star of The Exorcist, was scary you silly when she's repos repossessed. Leslie Nielsen, one of the famous kind of comedic comedic actors of the eighties. You know, Airplane. You know, he did uh, the Naked Gun films. Those those are a cool films to watch. Adds his comic genius to the horror. I can't say that word right now. He he already. You know. Fun begins when grown up Blair starts spear spearing curses and pea soup. Ex Exorcist Nielsen gears up to battle the spirit world and discovers he must also outwit a pair of phony. Evan just, no, I can't say that word right now, damn. You gotta check that out, uh, Repossess. My best friend is a vampire. Vampirism isn't all the honor it's made out to be. It's just an alternative, alternative lifestyle. You drink a bit, you drink a bit of blood. And get to live ten times longer than anyone else. Nothing, nothing, nothing to it. At least that's what Je Jeremy. Ke I know. I knew this character's name was Jeremy. I always. I didn't know his last name. Uh, Jeremy Capio Capello. Jeremy Capello, played by Robert Sean Leonard from the show House in the Saints, when he gets a deep love bite from a hot date before he knows it. His reflection in the bathroom mirror. Has vanished. He can't stand the smell of garlic, and he's developed, de developed, developed. Sorry, oh boy. He's developed an overwhelming passion for raw steak. Things don't seem too bad until the arrival of vampire hunter Professor McCarthy, David Warner. I think he passed away two years ago. I could be wrong. I have to look him up. He's staking out Jeremy. Oh, no, I'm thinking about the other guy. Uh, you know who was on Ben's I, I get him confused. The name's confused. He's staking out Jeremy, and the future doesn't look so bright. Anything can happen, and it does in this hilarious comedy that gives you a whole new meaning of the world nightlife. I like it says, the, and the future doesn't look so bright, because that song by, uh, was it Timbuktu? You know, the future so bright I gotta wear shades was played in this movie. It's so hilarious. I love that song. Silent Night, Daily Night 3. Ricky Codwell, the notorious killer Santa Claus, awakens from a six-year coma after being kept alive on life support by a nightly crazed doctor. Experimenting with ESP and other special abilities, Ricky targets a young blind woman named Laura who is traveling with her brother Chris and his girlfriend Jerry to their Grandmother's house where Chris and Steve Ricky decided to go after her leaving a trail of dead bodies in his wake. Hmm. And Slaughter High, uh, I already saw that movie. I like Slaughter High. There's horror in the halls. 
Lynching in the lunchroom, murder in the mental mental shop. I'm sorry, I meant to say mental. Murder in the mental shop. Welcome to Slaughter High, where the students are dying to get out in high school. Marty was the kid all students tease. You know, we always have that kid, always have that kid that we all make fun of, and it sucks. And of course, they're going to grow up and be crazy, and you know, turn out to be serial killers. Marty was the kid all the students teased, taunted, and tortured. One day, things went too far. One of their jokes backfired. Disfiguring Marty for life. Now, five years later, Marty has arranged a special reunion for all, for all his high school friends. The prom queen, the jock, the class clown, the rebel, and a few selected others have, have been invited. And it's going to be a gallon of gore. I know the guy who played Marty Simon Sycamore. I did a video of him passing back in eighty six, eighty five. I think he, I think he committed suicide. Yeah, yeah he, killed, he killed himself. It's sad. That was the only movie he did. I think he was British. Because if he did more movies, we would get to hear his British accent. In this, uh, in, in Slaughter High, he just does an American accent. I know he was born in the UK. I, I think he does have an English accent. I, he could have moved to the United States or Canada. You know, I don't know much about him, but. You know what I mean. Anyway, this is uh, these are the form film collection. I, I really bought this to see my best friend is a vampire. That is one of my eight favorite eighties comedies and favorite vampire movies. Repossess. I saw this one time on Comedy Central, and I remember back in the late nineties, uh, I saw promos on Comedy Central for it when they were showing Clue and all those cool horror movies like Transformers eighty six five thousand. And Hot and Honeymoon, I love Hot and Honeymoon and Trench Radio 6 5000. Those are cool horror comedies. Slaughter High, yeah. Marty Major and Cutting Classmates. This is the uncut version. I never saw the original R rated version, so, I, you know. And Silent Night, Daily Night Street, you better watch out. I, I didn't see the first two and the other Silent Night, Daily Night films, to be honest. But I really got to see the original one where uh, the kid, I think the character's name is Billy. Who witnesses his parents get murdered by Santa Claus, and he grows up in the orphanage and with his strict Mother Teresa or nun figure. That's mostly I remember when somebody was reviewing it years ago when I saw the review. But this is these are four cool films. And before I go, I just want to say today is election day. I don't know who's gonna win tonight. I don't. Whoever you cast your vote for, it doesn't matter. But whoever wins tonight, if uh, let's say Trump does get reelected. For four more years in 2024, or they probably start running for people. The candidates will start running for president in 2023, you know, that early. But I guarantee you, if Mike Pence, the current VP, runs, if he decides to run, he you know he'll get the nomination. History shows us the current vice president of the second year term, they always get the nomination, whether it be Nixon in 60, he got defeated by Kennedy, George Bush in 88. He he won. He defeated Michael Dukakis. Score in two thousand. He, he he lost with the state of Florida. First he won Florida, then he lost it to George W. Bush. And if Dick Cheney were, I guarantee you, if Dick Cheney would have run in a uh, eight, he would have gotten a nomination. He probably would have lost to Obama or whoever the candidate would have been, because nobody was liking the Republicans at that time where all that you know chaos was happening. Oh, uh, twenty sixteen. Uh, Joe Biden. Uh, I. I don't know if Joe Biden would have gotten a nom nomination in 2016. I mean, he's a, he was the vice president at the time. He's the nominee now. But uh, maybe they would have chose Hillary Clinton anyway. I was at the time. I was hoping to, for Biden to run. To, for Biden to run, I didn't expect to vote for him. But uh, at the time, uh, I was hoping he would. He, Hillary wouldn't get the nomination. Hillary. I didn't want Hillary to be the Democratic nominee for president. And uh, of course, Trump defeated her. But now. Former Vice President Biden is now the nominee. If Joe Biden does win, um, there, there will be a line of Republicans who, who want to run. Maybe Mike Pence will be the nominee in 20, 20, 2024. I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. Maybe Mike Pence might be the nominee in 2024 if Joe Biden does run. run. Of course, if Joe Biden does win, uh, Kamala Harris would be uh, the first woman president. I know it's crazy, right? But anyway, I'm about to end this video. I just wanted to talk about the election and mostly show you the four film horror collection.
At least two are horror comedies. These two are real straight horrors, but you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Have a good day. And God bless America.